Hello everyone, it's me, Jace Kibbe, and welcome back to Boofy's Bunker. Last episode was probably the luckiest episode I have ever recorded of anything besides 50-20 mode of uh, Ultimate Custom Night. Because I found Lou in my first run on easy Boofy's Kitchen, and then I found fucking tunnels in my second run on normal Boofy's Kitchen. Meaning, like... I did easy Boofy's Kitchen, got Lou, and then I, after I did that, I went to normal Boofy's Kitchen, got tunnels. Like, first try, first try. Insane. So this episode, we're going to go into the Micro Horror Arcade, and we're going to listen to How to Play, see what he has to say. Wow, I'm seeing you everywhere. I'm How to Play Rock Radio. <laughs> Even though I don't feel much like a rock right now, looks like you've gotten inside of one of Micro Horror Arcade's arcade machines. These things are That's so good. much fun. Looks like this is the Survive and Escape House game. This is one of my favorites. There are locks on the front door, and that's your only way out. The keys are located in lock boxes scattered around the house, but these suckers won't open right away. You're gonna have to wait them out. Make sure you answer the phone if it rings and keep up with the dog cage downstairs. Sometimes it gets a little moody and wants to shut off, and that is not a friendly dog. You do not want that thing running around the house. There are a few other monsters hanging around the place as well. There's one that oddly acts a lot like Boofy. Don't let that sucker catch you. And there's another that teleports around the house. You don't want it to be in the same room as you for too long, trust me. And there's one more, but I think it only shows up if you try to find a way around the house that isn't quite intended for use. Well, that's just about it. <laughs> Good luck. All right. Let's do this arcade. There's so many. This is, uh, I think this is Padre's favorite level in the game. It's basically just sit and survive, but you have to, like, move around the house while you're surviving. So there's this phone that we heard about earlier, and then there's the signal cage downstairs. And then there's, um, there's Bo Jin coming around the corner. Hey, buddy. Come get me. Silly Bo Jin. And there's little... You can hide in these little wardrobes. It's so loud. Let me turn this down. Jesus, it's so loud. This game's audio EQ is horrible. Let me just say that. So we got uh, Ten Ray here. You guys know Ten Ray? Hi, Ten Ray. If I say hi, Ten Ray. Okay. I can't. I can't hang out with Ten Ray for too long. Um. I can't remember if anything crazy happens in easy mode. I don't think... I don't think anything crazy happens in easy mode. Yeah, and there's only two keys, so... Easy peasy McSqueezy pants. This level's so interesting, though. Oh, here he comes. Oh, no. Let's use the vent. Oh, and there's... Yay. Ah. Uh, Signal. Don't give Signal a hug. He'll eat your face off. Otherwise, it's pretty friendly. And you have the ladder. But I almost killed myself. My god. It's fine. It's no big deal. This gets really intense and extreme, though. Alright, are you gonna... Is the timer gonna go off a second time? It needs to. My body is ready to leave. Let's get out of here. It's time to ski daddle. Two. I like how that's supposed to be a clock. Like a grandfather clock. Audio engineering. Could be better. Hey, it was my first game, man. And I don't I don't I don't edit this thing anymore. The trophy's been unlocked. Hell yeah. So that's um Yep. I sensed an overwhelming presence inside the arcade. The name Zeleon echoed heavily throughout the halls of the nightmare. I ventured into the plane, seeking a way to get closer to reality. But what I found there was the opposite. If anything, I was just stumbling deeper and deeper into that world, like struggling in quicksand. Hmm. So it's like the opposite of backrooms. It's cool how these little nitty gritty details of the lore even escape my mind sometimes. Like I forget a lot of this stuff. Um, more arcade. Uh, let's be real, the arcade is my least favorite <laughs> out of all of these maps. 
It really is. Oh my god, my luck, dude! I swear to god, my luck is insane. Oh, it's because I have Lou! Duh! Okay, so this is Knightley. Knightley is the main character in DareEvil.exe, a game by Apsur. Now you have to bring Knightley his helmet. That's that's why he, he doesn't have his helmet. But yeah, duh, Lou, Lou increases your luck. Like it makes it to where instead of one out of 10 chance for the Easter eggs to spawn, it's one out of five now. So that's why, that's why I got tunnels literally the next run, and that's why I got nightly so fast here. Okay, yeah, duh, it, cause that's, yeah, Lou just makes it to where you're luckier. It inc it increases your luck. So that, oh, I forgot I implemented that, like, as a, as a thing. And Knightley's helmet doesn't spawn until... I think like three minutes in, it, it spawns, I don't even remember, dude. I think it spawns like just before the, like the second set of keys were to spawn. Like in the, uh, in the hardest difficulty. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I, I know there's a audio. Hey, uh, hello? Oh, sorry. I must have the wrong number. Uh, have a good day though. Yeah, I, um, I know there's an audio cue for it, so it's all good. So, yeah, we have the, the phone to worry about now. Forgot about that. Oh, that's so cool. Nightly's great. Oh. I hit this before I die. Okay, yep, it's all good. Okay. It's all good. We're good. We're fine. I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> Mostly because I have that Easter egg. Okay. So we used that. I know, I know if we use it too much, Mako it spawns. It's all good. I'm like focusing because it's one of those like wait and listen kind of games. And the closer I get to like these extremes and stuff, the more focused I'm going to be. Okay. That's the third one. So we have to keep waiting for um, the helmet to spawn. It'll say... Like, congratulations or something. Ugh, I'm, I'm gonna wait for Ocean because I don't feel like risking it. I don't know if he's right there or not. He could be right fucking there. He's not. Congratulations. Oh, there's the helmet. Perfect. Let's grab that. Okay. I'm gonna go upstairs now. Holy God. Let's give it to Knightley. Yay! I did it! Now I gotta get the last key. And get out. Okay, there's Bojin. This is fine. This is totally fine. Fine, it's fine. Wait for him to go back. Slow and steady, man. Slow and steady. Yeah, easy peasy. And there's the key right there. See, it's all good. Just stay calm and you'll be fine. Look at us go. Collectively. Viewer and YouTuber. Boom. New difficulty. New trophy. And we got the Easter egg trophy all in one go. Thanks, Lou. I encountered quite a few new inhabitants inside the arcade. Bojan of Indulgence was the most prominent of the encounters. He would relentlessly hunt me, then go into a wild fit if I was discovered. 
All right, so that's Bojin. That's the green dude. You guys heard me saying his name a lot. So yeah, that's um, that's easy, normal. I'm probably not going to do hard in this video, but that's the main few levels that we've tackled now. So what have we done so far? We've done Boofy, Boofy's Bunker, easy and normal. We've done Boofy's Hedge Maze, easy and normal. We've done everything in the back rooms. Easy and normal in the arcade and easy and normal in the kitchen. We've gotten all the crossover Easter eggs. Here's Nightly. Oh my god, this game is really good and underrated, by the way. You guys should play it. It's a platformer, but it's like a yandere horror, like, dot .exe type thing. It's so good. Anyway, that's, um, that's that. Uh, what are the other Easter eggs? There's Bojin. Um, there's, uh, I, I keep forgetting their names because there's so many. There's Signal, Bojin, and we've only done the two difficulties, so let's look, let's look at the Hall of Memory and see what the Hall of Memory looks like right now. So we have a little bit of time. This, these doors start to fill themselves up as you go. So there's obviously there's Boofy's Bunker Easy. Oh, we didn't do Boofy's Bunker normal. We just did easy. So we need to do normal harder. So there's normal hard and extreme. Then there's this one, that one. I don't even know what each door is. Boom. That must be back rooms. And then two there. And then, yeah. Oh my God. It's so cool. The game's filling itself up. I love how you can track your progress too. I, uh, I wish I would have labeled it a little better. In the hall of memory though like what memory gets you what and you can tell if you've beaten a level already if you um if you beat a level and the, the rune isn't there you collect all the runes and then you unlock ultimate um impossible mode is right here too and you guys see this but i haven't been there yet oh uh, lou got stuck oh he's gone okay his ai resets if he gets stuck you have a little window to catch him if he gets stuck. That's actually what happened to me in the kitchen. I got lucky and he got stuck on a wall. So yeah, that's it for this episode. I'm out of time. It's been really cool. Like I, I, I can't believe we got Lou and we got all the crossover Easter eggs. I am ec ecstatic about that. That's fucking awesome. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you slap that like button underneath the video. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.